I'm just going to go ahead and say it. The moon is weird AF. We all think we know the moon. It's our constant companion, always overhead, quietly keeping time with the tides. It feels familiar, even comforting. But what if that familiarity is an illusion? What if the moon isn't what we think it is? This idea might sound unhinged at first, but once you start digging into the science, the history, and the deep lore surrounding the moon, you find yourself face to face with something undeniable. The moon is weird, like really, really weird. Compared to other moons in our solar system, it's too big. It's too close, too perfectly placed. Without it, life on Earth might not even exist. And for all that we've studied it, for all that we've landed on it, we still don't really know where it came from. There are theories, of course, official ones, fringe ones, even ancient ones, but none of them fully explain what the moon actually is or how it got here. And when you start to put all the strange details together, you reach a point where you have to ask the question, is it possible that the moon is something else entirely? And maybe it was placed in orbit. In this series, I'm going to walk you through all of it, step by step. The science, the anomalies, the conspiracies, and the implications. Because once you see what's hiding in plain sight, you'll never look at the moon the same way again. Follow for part two, where we're going to start by asking a question that's haunted conspiracy lore for decades. Did we actually land on the moon? Or was something too dangerous to reveal waiting for us when we got there?